This video is going to walk you through the process of creating a custom PayPal payment page. Now here's an example of a default PayPal payment page. Now let's take a look at a customized PayPal payment page. You scroll on down here to the payment button right here. Go ahead and click on this and it takes us to the custom PayPal payment page. There we are. And as you can see, this PayPal page is a great place to continue the look or brand of your site so that your soon-to-be paying customer continues to feel comfortable in their buying process. Plus, it can even add credibility because I remember the first time that I saw a custom PayPal page, I thought that these people I'm buying from must be some kind of big shots with their own logos on a PayPal page. Well, I've since learned that it's not that difficult to do, as I'm about to show you. Now, you're allowed to create up to three customized payment pages per PayPal account. Now, with multiple custom pages, you can set one for your primary page that will show up all the time unless you designate one of the other pages for an even greater custom look for you and your customers. And I'll show you here in a second how to designate the non-primary payment page on your Buy Now buttons. Because the one that I'm showing you here, this is not the primary page. So let's get to work and create our custom page. Go ahead and log into our PayPal account. And once you're logged in, come on over to Profile. Come on down to My Selling Tools and I believe it's the fourth item down, yes, custom payment pages. Come on over to the far right and click on update. And this is where you click on add to add a new page. First thing you want to do is give your custom page a name and you can name it whatever you want as long as it's 30 characters or less and no spaces. And now you can add a logo image or a header image or both. Now the header image is what I showed you in that custom page I showed you a minute ago. The logo image is a little bit smaller and on a different style page. The logo image is 190 pixels wide by 60 pixels high and the header image is 750 by 90. Again these are maximum sizes and you might want to go ahead and stick with the max it just gives you more landscape to work with. But both of these must be hosted on a secure server. In other words, the URL has to start with HTTPS. And if you do not have any of your domains on a secure server, don't sweat it. Don't rush right out and buy one because there's a cool service that's totally free that will host your images for you. Just make sure that you are following these restrictions or these guidelines rather that the image is no more than 750 wide or 90 pixels high and that the file size is no more than 50K. But it's very simple, straightforward. Once you've created your image, click on Choose File, navigate to the location on your computer where that image is at, put in your email address, type in the CAPTCHA image information, click on Upload Image, and within a couple of seconds, they will email you your HTTPS URL for that image. And I've already done that for both the header image here and the logo image here. And here's an example of the email that you're going to get whenever they send your HTTPS URL. Now let's go ahead and take these URLs and put them on our page. Now this one is for the header image here. And this one's for the logo, the smaller one, 190 by 60. And again, you can see where they start with HTTPS. And you can put in the color hex codes here if you'd like. It just adds a little more flair. Now it says here certain colors are not allowed. And you'll be given an error message up here at the top big yellow box saying er, can't use this color because it comes too close to matching the color of some of the text being used. And if you want more information on the different hex codes you can just click on one of these links here and it will pop up various colors that you can just select whichever one you think might match your particular scheme best and it'll give you the hex code down here that you would then enter into these boxes. And they don't have to all be the same color. Again, it just depends on your personal preference. But for the time being, I'm going to leave the colors alone and just stick with the images. Then come on down here and preview. And you can preview in both the enhanced and the classic. Let's go ahead and do that. And the enhanced first. That's a picture of the logo. As you can see, there's not a lot of room to work with. But I think if done properly, this will look a lot better than just the plain old black text on white background. And this is the gradient color here that you can change that I did not change right here. Like so. So now let's take a look at the classic view. And now then, let's go ahead and get rid of the, the logo and see what we got here. Enhance checkout. And I like this better than having the logo in there. 
but again it's totally up to you because if you have the logo in there then this header image is not going to show up you'll just have the little logo thingy stick up there so now you know what it looks like if you have the logo or without the logo. Let's go ahead and close this out. Go ahead and save this. Now by default, the PayPal page is the primary. You can you can make your custom page the primary by just selecting this button here, make primary. Now if we want to have the PayPal page primary, we'll put it back the way that it was. Now let's say for example that we want the PayPal page or one of our other custom pages to be the primary, but on occasion we want a different custom page to show up when somebody clicks on the payment button. Here's how you can override that. Come on up here and make a button. Go to Merchant Services. I'm going to go to one of my saved buttons and we'll just go ahead and edit this button here. Come on down to step three and then in this box here you put this code here and in place of name of page you put the name of your page. And our page was, if I remember correctly, capital M Y underscore capital D E M O. I believe that was it. Click on save changes and here's how we can test this real quick. Come on up here to email. Copy this and put this in our browser and this should be our custom page and not the default PayPal page. There we are. And then at this point we simply copy this code and we put it on our website where we want our payment button to be. And this will bring us to the end of this video on creating and using a customized PayPal payment page. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.